Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching right now, if you can share this video and this channel and help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Vanity Kills. How are you doing today? Hey, Mike. How's it going, dude? It's going good. Thanks. So you want to tell us a little about the project for anyone that doesn't know? Uh, sure. Um, Vanity Kills is a band that, that I started back in 2012. Um, I'd always been sort of a hired gun in projects and never really did my own thing. So I set it up back then, uh, recorded one EP and then put it to sleep. Um, and uh, then about two years ago, uh, went through some stuff and decided to resurrect the project. So it's uh, sort of industrial metal, if you want to sort of label it as something. I don't know if it quite fits, but <laughs> hope so. I was actually going to ask what kind of genre, because I know there's like rock elements, electronic, goth, like you said, industrial metal. There's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it, it's sort of an outlet, because I listen to everything from Motown to uh, Cannibal Corpse. It's sort of any anything that catches my ear, I'll throw a little bit of that at it if I can. Kind of just kind of what you're feeling, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, you got a new record coming out in August. you want to tell us about that? Uh, yeah, this is this is our second record. It's called Chapter Two Enemy, uh, following on from uh, the last one, which was six years ago, uh, which was Chapter One of Stitches. Uh, this this is the first full length that we've done, so uh, it's quite exciting for me because I've never put one together on my own before, um, and this one, because it's self produced, has got a lot more of uh, of the sound that I want to get into it. Uh, than we had on the first record, so. Awesome. Can you tell us some of the themes of the record? Uh, yeah, um, some of them are dealing with, uh, like, uh, as I said, about two years ago, I went through some some personal issues. Um, so a lot of it is dealing with that. Um, like on the first uh, record, a lot of it, it uh, is also quite political. Um, I generally don't think of myself as a political person, but then those sorts of things um, end up inspiring my lyrics more than anything else. So they've all sort of, I've sort of straddled the line between personal issues and politics on this one. Now, with everything going on in the world right now, have you been writing any new material? I mean, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Funnily enough, um, the last song I recorded for this album, Murder Song, um, was written literally a week ago um inspired by everything that's going on uh in the world at the moment and uh it it was one of those things i wasn't sure whether to include it on the record but it was you know it was like right okay i'm i'm down to the wire let's let's throw that in so yeah the new material is uh you know it's all new up until a week before i finished it wow that's awesome now, if people want to find you online, look you up, get your music, how do they do that? Um, you can find us at uh, Facebook. Generally, is the, the best place is uh, facebook.com slash official vanity kills. Um, we've got our YouTube channel as well, um, which is just vanity kills. And uh, Instagram and Twitter are at vanity kills band. Awesome. Now, with everything going on with the lockdown, how have you handled the whole quarantine, lockdown? How have you handled all that yourself? Um, it, it's been a blessing in disguise. Um, because I self-produce, I've, I've got a home studio here, so I, I literally finished the, the record taking advantage of the free time through, through lockdown. Um, since I finished the record, however, I have been going out of my skull. <laughs> It, with no with no end goal in mind now, I'm just sort of like, oh, what can I do? So I've recorded a bunch of covers and uh, played way too many video games. <laughs> so just trying to keep busy, right? Yeah, exactly. And then I guess when we can have live music again, are you gonna play live? Yeah, yeah. That's um, that was that was the weirdest thing because we never did any live shows really uh, until last until last year. Um, because again, I, I wrote and recorded the whole thing myself. I I'd never wrote it to be played live, and I have a group of friends that uh, you need to get out and do this. So I started putting it together um, in a weird way. Played five or six shows last year, 
I thought this isn't working. I need to upgrade all the equipment. So I decided to upgrade the, all the equipment. And uh, the following week, lockdown happened. Wow. So, but when we get out there now, the, uh, the plan is to, as, as soon as smaller venues start to reopen, we're going to go out and uh, put together a, a really cool live show with you know video screens and, and crazy imagery and shit goes on uh, with that sort of stuff. Oh, I forgot to ask, am I allowed to swear on this? Oh, yeah, you can say whatever you want. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Didn't want to be that guy, you know? <laughs> You're good. So then the, the project was originally supposed to just be a studio project then, right? Like you said? Yeah, pretty much. Um, like, because I've always been a hired gun in things. I was, you know, I was out playing guitar for this, doing bass for that, and uh, drums for other things. So I never really thought of it as a live project. Um, my original drummer and I did did talk for a while about going out to do it, but um, we could we never figure out the logistics. Uh, but as technology has become more available and less expensive, we found ways to to pull that sort of thing thing off. So, yeah. so now we get to go out and play live. That's awesome. Are you involved in any other projects as well? Uh, not at the moment. Um, I, I know my guitarist, Phil, uh, wants to work on a, a sort of horror punk side project um, with me on vocals once this album cycle is done. So if, uh, if that all comes to fruition, that would be a lot of fun to do, just to get out there with a, with a full live band again. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And when you play live with this project now, is it just you, or do you have other members on stage? Uh, yeah, I've got um, I got I got three of my closest with me. Um, I've got Phil uh, Phil Loman on guitars. Um, he is the the hardest working lazy guitar player you'll ever have. <laughs> um, John Jeffries, my bass player, um, he's one of my closest friends, the sweetest guy you'll ever know, and uh, just one of the most intuitive bass players I've ever met. And uh, we've got Sophie Whiten on, on percussion. Um, uh, she's a fantastic drummer, but we, we don't use real drums. We use drum machines. So she comes out and just slams the shit out of like weird oil drums and kegs and things. So it's loads <laughs> of fun. That's cool. And now, why did you decide to name the project Vanity Kills? Um... That was more of a situation where it was one of those things where come up with a cool name, figure out a meaning later, and we never figured out the meaning. <laughs> it, it just seemed to fit, um, especially since you know we're we're all sort of the the gothy type, so we're all covered in in face paint and makeup. Um, so it it was it sort of comically hypocritical. Cool. Well, it was good having you and talking with you and everyone looking up. <laughs> Thank you, Michael.